What's up everybody, welcome to your fourth Python tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be talking to you guys about functions. Now in the last tutorial I was throwing around the world the world, what? I meant the word, functions quite a bit but in this tutorial I'm going to actually be telling you what a function is and uh, how to use it a little better. What a function is, is pretty much like a little built in program that's built into Python and that allows you to do uh, kind of complex things without having to tell the computer every single instruction of what you're doing. So pretty much um, like in the last couple tutorials I told you guys how to use exponents like 5 star star 4 and this did 5 to the 4th power gives you 625 but there's also a function that can do this for you and it's a little bit easier. So how you use a function is you first have to write the function name and then after that you have to write any parameters that the function needs and what a parameter is is pretty much any information that a function would need to be able to solve a problem so the function for power is pow and in your parameters power needs two numbers the base and the exponent so this would be five comma four so once you press enter it gives you the number and this is a pretty simple one but um there are a lot different or uh, more functions that are useful and uh... i'm rambling on so let me give you guys another example just to show you guys something like absolute value would be really difficult to program if you didn't have a function and what absolute value is is it pretty much takes how many it pretty much takes any number how much it is away from zero and I don't know it's kinda hard to explain but like negative 18 would be 18 and also what the heck is that ABD and also something like 5 that would be 5 and uh, don't mind that I just did that for fun but aside from functions um, there's also something called modules in a module is pretty much um, extra crap that's built into Python now this is pretty much allows you to get a whole list of extra functions um, what they did is this Python interface it only has so many functions you can use um, this is just to like say memory on your computer and stuff like that but if you want to go ahead and grab more functions you can import them for example there's a function called floor and what this does is take any number like 18.7 and round it down to 18 but look at that whenever I try to use it it gives me an old error message and we don't want this this is because we didn't import the module that allows us to use the function floor so right now Python's just looking at it and be like floor what the heck are you talking about what's that mean well you don't know what this function is yet even though it's built in somewhere we just have to go find it that's where we use modules so in order to get a module what you have to do is import it so go ahead and type import in the floor function is in the math module so go ahead and put import math and press enter and once you do it's going to import the math module and this math module is going to give you a whole list of functions that you can use um, relating to math and now you can use the floor function but you just can't use it like this floor with your parameters you have to use it a special way and how you do it is this you have to type the name of the module first such as math put a period and then type the function so put math floor 18.7 and bam look at that we now can use the floor function this way and another function that's in math is square root so just to show you guys that this is kind of more useful aside from being the floor the um, name for square root is sqrt get out of here box and let's take the square root of like 81 or something now whenever we press enter bam we now have two brand new functions just because we imported all of them using this simple command so what import does is pretty much expand your options for functions and that's going to come into use a lot later on 
So again, if you're getting error messages when you try to use a function, it's probably because you didn't import those functions yet, and that's how you do that. So again, how you use functions that you import, type the module name and then the function name, and that's going to allow you to use them. Another very useful thing is you can also assign those to variables. So go ahead and make a variable name. I'm going to make mine called Bucky. And now you can do something like math.sqrt square root, press enter. Now instead of typing math.sqrt with your number in here every time, all you have to do is type whatever you put for the variable and put a number in there and go ahead and press enter. And instead of typing math.square root, you can just type the name of your variable and then whatever your parameter and that's that'll save you a bunch of time so instead again just to reiterate one more time instead of typing your entire function all you have to do is put a variable name assign it to a module then a function name and then go ahead and type something like that and this will be like a built-in function so you don't have to remember the module name and function name every time so that is how you use a variable to assign it to a function and that's a really useful method so just uh, play around with that a little bit and it'll save you a bunch of time in the long run so that's your quick tutorial on functions and modules that's all you need to know for now so practice this and once you learn this you're ready to move on to the next tutorial so I'm gonna go ahead and post this and hopefully someone will write first on the first comment and hopefully everyone else will yell at them and give it a thumbs down like usual so uh, you guys have fun with that and I'll work on the next tutorial so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time